Welcome to Newport Living and Lifestyles monthly photo contest with guest photographer Jennifer Carter, a photographer, a philanthropist, and a community leader. In light of the effects of the coronavirus, Jen had a brilliant idea to mix up the photo contest to highlight a community humanitarian nominated by you. But before we reveal the winner, Jen, tell us a little bit about how you came up with this idea, how the winner was chosen, and what the winner will win. So, um, you know, basically the idea kind of was born of, you know, I had an event that I was working on, it was planned for the end of April, and unfortunately it was a fundraising event we had to cancel, like a lot of people right now, and so I felt like, you know, why not let's highlight some of the fundraising efforts that go on, or some of the philanthropy that goes on within our community and we asked people to nominate some individuals that they felt were deserving of kind of winning something for their efforts within the community and so that's how we came up um came up with this idea uh we had several nominations and it was really difficult to make the decision um but cheryl uh de janeiro had uh nominated jennifer saya so um kristen can you introduce her and tell us a little bit about her Yes, and we have Cheryl De Janeiro. She uh, has Newport Yacht Interiors and is very good friends with her nominee. And um, the nominee has is such an entrepreneur. She has run a women-owned business since 1994. Congratulations! And also supports most of the local charities by attending all of their events um, all of the events around town you probably have seen her at some of these events and in seven years helped the boys and girls club of newport net 1.5 million through their annual fundraiser the newport yacht rendezvous and so much fun so friendly the life of the party jen saya president charter specialist of bnb yacht charter <laughs> Incorporated. Welcome and congratulations. Fantastic. Let me just go over what she's going to win since I forgot to mention that. <laughs> uh, basically, she's going to win an hour and a half to two hours for a portrait session for herself and some friends, digital and kid proofs, and then she'll also get a $200 credit towards purchasing a canvas or some other prints from the session. So hopefully that's something she can enjoy. She could also use it for her yacht business if she'd like. Um, so that's what she's going to win. Well deserved, Jen. The resume on bnbyachtcharters.com lists numerous nonprofits that you participate in. How did the Newport Rendezvous come to Newport? Hi, Kristen. Hi, Jen. Thanks so much. And thank you, Cheryl, for nominating me. Um, when I rolled into town about uh, seven years ago, I met uh, with Patty Ricolta, Kim Herlinger, and Stacey Mills. And I immediately wanted to get involved with the Boys and Girls Club of uh, Newport County because I was involved in the one in Broward County, Florida for nearly 20 years. We produced an event there that's over 25 years old. Um, that is a three night, four day fundraiser. We raised millions of dollars showcasing you know, the luxury lifestyle of yachting. And I said that, wow, there's nothing really that's going on here that brings the yachting community to the philanthropic community. So yes, there's beautiful parties at, at the mansions and several other places, but why don't we use our rock waterfront? So I got introduced to them and we brainstormed that on, on this idea and now we're in our seventh year. And it is such a fun event who's ever come to it. Um, we've got clients that actually fly in from California and Colorado and just from all over you know, the, the, um, the Northeast. And it has really become a signature event for the community. Um, it, it's, it's yacht hot style. We have a theme per bow. We do a signature cocktail competition. And it's just, it's fun. It's friendly, as you said, Kristen. And it's interactive. Um, then we go from the boats to the tent. And at the, this year, the tent's going to be decorated like starry, starry night. Every year that we, we try to showcase one individual. This year we're going to be doing it for Patty Ricolta, who's our past president, and she's she's our honoree. She is an absolute star in this community, as well as many other people, especially Joe Pratt um, and all the staff at the Boys and Girls Club. So you know, we just we try to you know do something a little bit different. Every year we try to raise the money for um, 
a, a certain need. Last year was Camp Grosner. This year, we're going to raise the paddle for educational programs. Um, the a work that the Boys and Girls Club does that takes these at-risk youth off the street and gives them so many foundations of success for the future. Um, the, food, the, the programs that, that they offer are incredible. So we want character development for the, for the kids. Um, we're going to, you know, take drugs out of their lives. We're going to get fed. Um, and the money that, that we raise is so, so, so necessary. Uh, last year was, you know, over $536,000. I was actually shocked myself to hear that net number because we doubled it from the year before. And um, you know, so, now, so now I've got a really big job to do. And I think this year, since so many people are going to be cooped up um, for many, many, many months, and there's so many charities, just like your event, Jen, that have been canceled yes. or postponed into the fall, um, this is... This is going to be tough for all, you know, all the, the charities to raise the kind of money that they need to give back to their, whatever, whatever their, their need is. Um, so this one's August 14th this year, which is a Friday. Um, so save the date. Um, actually, the save the date cards are coming out uh, within the next week or so. Um, you're going to be able to register. The event is $500 per person minimum. There are some tables that, you know, the, the price per ticket is a little bit, little bit higher, uh, pre, you know, primo positioning. And we'll have about nine yachts, um, maybe even more, because I think the Northeast is really going to be the winner this year. A lot of boats aren't going to go to Europe or, or you know, yeah. places far, far away. So, you know, by the way, whoever is listening to this, if you don't have your dockage already signed up, you're <laughs> going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Kind of speaking of, of dockage, um, the, the event is hosted at the Newport Shipyard, which is now called Safe Harbor. And they have just been another star in uh, raising money for the Boys and Girls Club. They, have do they donate the dockage um, that the yachts are, are um, at for the, for the night and donate the electricity and the water. So, you know, and, they, and each yacht that participates gets two tickets to the event. So we find that a lot of our yacht owners have decided that this is really a fun event for them to come to. Um, and they use it as part of their itinerary and planning their summer stops in New England with this, this premier event. So it's really fun. Well, that sounds fabulous, ladies. I look forward to coming to the Yacht Hop event, coming to A Night to Remember, which Jen Carter also runs. And we'll looking forward to back at some point. Yes, we'll look forward to all of those um, fundraisers that will still be coming. And um, some of them just will be having new dates. And um, where can people buy tickets to the Yacht Hop? The Yacht Hop is at the Boys and Girls Club site, which is bgcnewport.org slash nyr. And Jen Carter, where can people find tickets for your event? Well, at this point, our event has been postponed, unfortunately, but we do have a website. It's at nighttorememberNewport.com. Right now, it still probably says the old date, but we will be coming up with a new date. And once we do, the tickets will be available there. Well, we look forward to seeing the results of your photo session, Jen Saya, Jennifer Saya. Well, hopefully, I get a hairdresser. <laughs> <laughs> You're all going to need a hairdresser soon. Global <laughs> <laughs> hairdressing, <laughs> please. <laughs> it's a call out. It's a call out. Well, thanks for participating in this month's photo contest and bringing some good and some fun to the community. Uh, to support the local businesses and these local businesses, uh, find their pages, like and follow them. And to support um, all of the fundraisers, make sure to grab tickets. They're always so much fun. And to enter to win the normal monthly photo contest and win gift certificates from local entrepreneurs, just hashtag Newport Living and Lifestyles. And to get to know more entrepreneurs, subscribe, follow, like, and share. And we look forward to seeing you on Newport Living and Lifestyles. Bye, everybody. Bye.